What's good YouTube? It's your boy Unknown Smug and I'm back at it with a brand new video. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys just a little gameplay where I went crazy in basketball gods after switching a few sigs around. Now before I get into this video fully, I have some big news to share with you guys. So recently I commented on NBA 2K's post on TikTok saying, hey, can we get some TikTok logos? And they actually responded back to my comment saying, maybe if you guys didn't see my video on TikTok with the eye emojis. So I, I posted a video addressing it. And in that video, I got everyone to get the spam at Ronnie2k and at NBA2k if they think a TikToker deserved the logo, not me, a TikToker. And that video was going off and it got recognition by NBA 2K because they commented on it saying, tag your favorite 2K content creators with the uh, arrow pointing downwards. Now, while that video was blowing up, all of a sudden I get a notification saying I can DM NBA 2K, meaning they followed me back. And I looked at their account and saw they were only following two TikTok, 2K TikTokers. And it was me and this other, this one other guy. From that, I, I was just freaking out. I was obviously fanboying there. And I messaged them, explaining to them how, like, I don't really care necessarily if I were to get a logo. I just want the TikTok community to kind of be recognized because we've been working hard for the last couple months putting in work. And I feel like we deserve recognition. And I, how I appreciate the follow. And they responded back to me saying, we appreciate you, fam. We'll be watching. So, boys, TikTok is getting the recognition. The content creator logos are gonna be coming soon for those TikTokers and it's all thanks to you guys. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you to any one of you guys that come from TikTok and you, you guys mean so much to me. You're the reason why I can grow like this right now. Anyway, let's get into this video after you see me cooking up for the first seven points without me uh, acknowledging it at all. But this is my obvious my 6-3 offensive threat what i mean by i switched a couple sigs around is i usually use pro 6 when i'm running screens but today i decided to switch it up and go to steph curry see how that was and i'm telling you guys that was that first off that was the only shot there i missed and i am telling you guys steph curry is the way for screens i, I love it the the how quick you can you can go side to side and change directions is super key when you're running screens on offense that's what i noticed in the last week and a half to two weeks when you're playing against comp it does it doesn't matter necessarily how good you can crab someone it's all about your quick side to side direction change like there right green light like couldn't guard that that was too smooth and too quick and i find that stephen curry is the smoothest dri dribble sigs for changing directions quickly especially against comp because of how quick the dribble movement is and how smooth the speed boost you can get out of it is another thing i, I also changed i didn't change it for this game however i'm using it now i just see me green in that quick stop right there is uh pro 8 moving crossover for that glitchy coming down the, between the legs coming down the court it like launches you forward and it's very like it's super quick and glitchy i'm not sure why I'm gonna let you guys know. I even switched on my badge setup for this video. I put on Tyler Shooter Hall of Fame. I put Green Machine on Silver. And I have Hall of Fame Difficult Shots, Hall of Fame Range Extender, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, and Hall of Fame Quick Draw. And I'm telling you, watch this, guys. I don't have Deadeye on my build at all. See what I do with what, what my takeover. Even without my takeover, actually. I'm telling you guys, you do not need Deadeye in this game. Trust me, you don't need it. Look at that green light, 39% contested, easily green. And, if, and you see, you see how quickly I'm changing directions with this Steph Curry size up. That's why I think it is the most effective for screens now. I'm, I, I completely changed my mind. I used to think Kobe and AI were the most effective for screens. However, in comp situations, it's all about quick changes of direction and uh, confusing your defender, as you see me doing here. Look, look, watch this. Oh my, that was one of the most disgusting crabs I have ever done in my life. Let's run that back real quick. Look at that. He's literally, oh my God. That was disgusting. <laughs> now, his game's coming to an end, but you can see what I mean. What I'm, when I'm talking about this Steph Curry dribble sigs, like look how quickly I'm changing directions going side to side as you see me trying to pull a half court, messing around and stuff. And I'm telling you, 
this is new the new dribble way for for screens if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe as you see me green in that 38 percent contested and i'm telling y'all this jump shot that i posted a video on already and these new dribble sigs have turned me into a demon anyway i'll catch you guys on friday i'm out peace